When my husband and I first married, we wanted to find the prettiest, greenest place to raise our family. We were tired of Moscow, so we moved to be near the Himki Forest. One day we were in the oak grove and noticed that a lot of trees had red markers on them, indicating they would be cut down. We were shocked. Evgenia discovered that Himke Forest would be destroyed because Prime Minister Putin revoked a federal protection for it to build the Moscow-St. Petersburg Highway. With deep ties to Putin, French construction giant Vince became the lead in the $8 billion project. We found out that a French company secretly planned to use our tax money to build the road. The profits would go into the pockets of Putin's cronies. We knew we had to fight that corruption, particularly because there were better routes for the highway that would save this beautiful forest. Without any prior experience in grassroots organizing, Evgenia left her engineering practice and formed the group Defend Himke Forest. We tried every possible way to protect Himke. We buried the president in our petitions and organized demonstrations. When they started clear-cutting without permits, we took our protest into the forest and created a camp to stop the construction. Evgenia is a true leader. She attracts followers because she's very brave and charismatic. And her influence is growing throughout Russia. She's our Joan of Arc. The activists threw themselves in front of bulldozers, suffering beatings and arrests in the process. The stakes were raised when a number of journalists covering the story were attacked and nearly killed. Child Protection Services came to our house claiming I beat and starved the children. I was livid. I created a video asking for support, and the response was overwhelming. The government's intimidation only emboldened Ibgenia, galvanizing widespread support. Officials were forced to apologize, admitting the charges were false. I would feel much better if someone else was doing this, not my wife, because I constantly worry about her safety. On the other hand, I can see that she is becoming one of the leaders of the new Russia, and she is unstoppable. Then in one of the largest environmental protests in Russian history, Evgenia and her allies brought together a crowd of 5,000 in Moscow's Pushkin Square. In response, President Medvedev ordered a public inquiry into the highway's environmental impacts. After considering the appeals, I'm ordering the government to halt construction of this road. Admission of injustice is such a rare move on the part of our government that even only temporarily admitting they are wrong is quite significant. Six months later, construction resumed. The standoff in the forest continues. The Defend Himke movement helped spark a broader political uprising when tens of thousands of people took to the streets of Moscow protesting corrupt parliamentary elections. The campaign to save a forest became the new face of Russian civil society. We all live in Himki Forest has become our rallying cry. We shared in the realization that common people must come together to defend their rights, and we must never give up. within my heart because I know that when you follow what's been instilled in you, you can't go wrong.